So for this video, I'm going to show Azure Disk Encryption. And in order to encrypt your disk, you need to, you know, put the encryption in somewhere. So you got to create a key vault. But first, I'm just creating a virtual machine. But the only thing to notice is I put in East. So when you create a key vault, you know, make sure it's in the same region as your as a virtual machine for the that has the disk that you want to encrypt. So, you know, I'm going to put in the same resource group, but that doesn't matter as much. I'm going to call it FTV. So, East. And so I'll keep it standard. I'll soft delete on, it's fine. 90 days is fine. I'll enable purge protection. Actually, I'll disable purge. Well, I'll keep both the objects. Now I'll just enable it. Doesn't matter. Access policy. So this is one of the important feature. So make sure you check Azure Disk Encryption for volume encryption. So if you don't have it checked, then when the VM tries to like contact the key vault. It won't be able to do it for disk encryption because it, it's not enabled. So uh, for the current access policies, I want to add more key permissions, um, the cryptographic ones, uh, decrypt, encrypt, all these ones verify sign. Okay, now let's move next. And they're ready to create, so I'll come back after it's created. I, uh, so it's done, but I want to show you that if we go to our virtual machines, okay, it's not popping up. The, let's try it again. What the heck happened to my... Alright, well, I guess I'll create a new one. Um, I'm going to create it called TVM and I'll put it in demo.rg I'll come back after I create this but I just want to show when I go inside and when I connect to it that uh, that uh, in the file explorer at the C drive and D drive it won't have a lock but after we do uh, the encryption it should have a lock on it Actually, I just want to see why it didn't work what I created earlier at the beginning of the video. It says, I guess I put it as North Europe when the VNet was in East. And so I don't know why I switched that. I'll, I'll just make a new one. So anyway, I created the VM and I just uh, connected to it. And here you see they're unlocked. So now let's uh, open up Cloud Shell. And I've got to create storage. I'll come back when it's ready because we're going to run a command to enable the encryption. Okay, so I don't know what happened there, but um, hopefully it works. Uh oh. So the command is azvm, and let's see if it works. Encryption enable G for resource group name, it's demo RG. The name of the virtual machine, which is key PVM, because I accidentally put the second P. Then you do disk encryption key vault, so the key vault name, which I forgot so um, encrypt key v1 and encrypt key v1 like that capital K and B1. Encrypt 
script key v1 evvm everything looks good all right so i'm gonna run it it takes around 15 minutes okay so all of it didn't work so let me copy all that and i'll rerun the session Um, so one thing to note after you do it is it applies to both the C drive and the D drive in the in the virtual machine, and um, it might, it also might kick you out of the the, the session. So you could uh, specify if you want only one drive, like C or only D or you know whatever data drives you want. But I'm just doing it to apply to both. Um, I don't know what's happening, I'll come back. All right, I tried to restart it and that didn't work, so I just refreshed the whole thing. Um, so let's do that again. And now it's gonna take 15 minutes and then when we're done, I'm gonna connect back to it and show you that there's gonna be a locked symbol next to the tribes and that will be it. Okay. It only took a few minutes, not 15 minutes, but um, anyway, let's go, let's connect to it. Or actually the session's still here and now it has a lock on it. So now it's encrypted. And that's it. That's how to do Azure Disk Encryption.